So what is the difference, like, in your mind, what shows up as the difference? You know, as an illustrator, you're illustrating a story, right? There's a, and sometimes the illustration carries a better and quicker and better and deeper understanding of the story than even reading it, you know, or mm -hmm. is because it's so quick and so immediate to the person, to a person's mind. But, um, so, so when you get into the difference between some of the artists you mentioned, the old, the old fashioned people, their mm -hmm. story was kind of jaded, I suppose, the one they presented was kind of, what do we say? Um, I'm not quite sure the word I want to use, but it's it's like we've heard that before. We want a different story. How does your, what do you think when you use the word icon? Um, how does that relate to the notion that a, a picture carries the story um, in some way that that that, it, that makes a, a big emotional impression on the viewer? Right. Uh, well, visual, of course, is, um, is, is what you're talking about, the yeah. uh, visual impact. Um, the difference between an illustrator and a fine artist uh, is, was described where an illustrator, uh, someone come, someone sets up a target. Uh, they, they establish what the target is. The illustrator is required to hit the target. If you don't, Oh, yeah. If you don't hit the target, everyone in the world knows that you didn't hit the target. Yeah. But a fine artist gets to shoot the uh, arrow into the sky and wherever it lands, and he draws a, a target yeah. around it. And so that makes that's, sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a bullseye. So that type of training, that type of um, uh, just intense training, really carries over into the, the fine art. So... And the only difficulty now is that I have to uh, come up with with the target, with the criteria that I that I want to achieve, and that's uh, for me is the visual impact. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like to think of um, the, the test for my art is if you're driving along the freeway at 85 miles an hour, and out of the corner of your eye you see a big billboard. And you have to instantly recognize that, and it, you, you have to, in just a split second, recognize it and define what it is that you just saw. So if it gets so cluttered, so um, detail-oriented, and so cluttered that you can't make it out at 85 miles an hour, I've lo I've uh, missed the target. Way to go! Yeah, I get it. So I I want to see. I want you to see out of the, just a, uh, just a split second out of the corner of your eye and recognize what I just painted. Yeah. You know, um, that that explains the the teepees have a huge impact. Can I? I'll tell you a quick little story. A few years ago, <clears throat> um, I have a teepee that I use quite a bit, and I I take and put it up for different events and ceremonies and things. A few years ago, there's a town hall built. Uh, in a town near here, built by, uh, designed by one of the world's most famous architects, a Japanese guy. It's a beautiful building, brand new modern building. Mm -hmm. I took my teepee down there for something I forget what now. I put it on the grass in front of the building, between the building and the highway. I caused a traffic jam. Mm -hmm. Everybody stopped to look at the teepee. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, the building vanished. You couldn't see that building. All you could see was the teepee. Simple, not designed by any particular person, perfect for its use, perfect in form and function, you know? It, it is. It's just, it is. And it's no wonder it has such... Well, you know, I, I, such remember, um, I remember the one day when I, uh, I was in, I, I was under contract for Disney, and I saw that I had uh, several days uh, where I wasn't going to be doing anything, and I had a canvas stretched. Uh, uh, this was before uh, getting uh, stretches from you, but it was already it was already stretched. So I just painted a picture of my teepee, my my own teepee. Yeah. And, and I remember thinking the entire thing time is oh, what what a waste of time this is. You know, nobody in their right mind is going to want a painting of a teepee. But you know, it um, 
it instantly sold to a big lodge, uh, wow. a really exclusive lodge owner here in in uh, Big Sky, Montana, yeah. and he put it in the in his restaurant um, and started uh, immediately began getting requests: to, is a painting for sale? Could they buy it? And on and on. And so, from that minute on, the teepees uh, demand for teepee has never. It subsided. In fact, it, <laughs> each year it gets bigger. That's wonderful. <laughs> A now, great story. But there's something, there's power in the uh, teepee. Yeah. And, and I feel it has something to do with the uh, universal appeal of the pyramid, the pyramid shape. Oh, sure. Yeah. And like you were saying, um, the teepee in front stops the traffic in, in front of the Louvre. There's... Um, you you've probably seen it uh, uh, fairly recently. They uh, they put a, a pyramid in front mm-hmm. of the Louvre. Yeah. And, and now the problem is that the crowds stop there. Uh, they they can't get the crowds to continue on into the Louvre. Yeah. They they they, they cluster around the pyramid. They want to stay. They want to be close to it. They want to be. Yeah. They want to absorb yeah. it. Yeah. That's good. I didn't well, know that. That's very good. Yeah, it's a it's a really interesting uh, architecture. Is uh, yes. you know, built built similar to the pyramids, but but, but I see a, um, a a relationship between the pyramids and the teepees. So there's this effect of of composition as well as light and color and 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 the type of brush strokes you use and the type of media you use. There's this effect of I, I notice you talk about nines, you know. Mm-hmm. A square or a, a any kind of uh, quadrilateral divided into nine, mm-hmm. um, or any kind of rectangle anyway divided into nine makes some. Um, you know, it gives you a kind of compositional effect. It has an effect on your brain in some way mm-hmm. uh, that mm-hmm. kind of seizes hold of your brain if it's divided up that way, which practically no other form of design, maybe no other form, will do it quite the same job. Would, would you agree with any of that? Or? Uh, with the, the nine panel grids? Yeah. Um, uh, um, I, I think you're, are, are you talking about the, where I explain the reason for using I nine? remember, I've read it something in that PDF you sent me. I can't remember all of that. I did read yeah, it. Yeah, it was uh, to, uh, Ennead, my brain. Uh, uh, something divided into nines. and. Yeah. Nine players play nine innings and nine months to become a human. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, the the that was a little tongue in cheek. The the bottom line is uh, I don't know any better way to divide a square in a pleasing yeah. way than to divide it into nine. Well, well, they that, talk- that also that also has become a very popular uh, painting. Uh, I, I get a lot of requests for those. For those, yeah. So there's something in it. Must be. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, the the fact that that's um, nine nine distinct faces, uh, usually nine faces um, of of people that um, the Native Americans are. are yes. Really, really intense uh, faces. Has an impact too, mm-hmm. just the way they are. Just mm-hmm. they're they're. Yeah. Um, what about your your materials? Like, does that have? Do you do you stick pretty much to the same set of mate, same kinds of materials all the time, or do you experiment uh, you, at you all? Such as, uh, you mean uh, Paint you're talking about the, surfaces the or of, the type of uh, canvas I use? Canvas uh, or the kind of paint or the kind of surface you use or the way you apply it or any of that? Any of the kind of yeah, pretty working. pretty close. Um, uh, you know the uh, the stretchers that. That you sell are really the only ones that I've run across that are actually uh, capable of holding uh, a linen, a linen canvas. As yeah. you know, linen just gets terribly heavy. Yes. Uh, I, I love painting on on linen, but the the problem with it is if you get it a, a certain size and it, you know, as you know, the sag. Yes. It begins to sag. <clears throat> so. Um, and so you. Yeah.